Hello everyone, welcome back to AS and A Level Biology with Dr. Demi. I am Dr. Demi and in this video I will be concluding chapter 12 which is respiration. I hope you have found the previous videos very helpful um, and I hope that they've sort of helped you clarify respiration and demystify it uh, because I know many students find respiration very nerve-wracking because it's very detailed but I just want to assure you that most of these things are really straightforward and easy Take your time to learn them. Take your time to watch the videos again and again if you feel the need to. And I always suggest to students that while you're watching the videos, just take note of certain key points and also questions that you might have. And so you can post them in the comment section or if you go to school, you can ask your teacher. So today I want to conclude by telling you about um, respiration adaptations. And the focus is usually on rice and how rice survives in wet environments. So typically when we grow rice, we grow rice in very flooded environments. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys have tried to Google rice paddies or visited one before, but what you will notice is that the environment is always flooded. And this is odd because rice actually can grow in dry environments, but people choose to grow them in swampy environments simply to reduce competition with weeds. So weeds are not able to grow in the same wet environment as, as rice, uh, but rice is adapted to grow in that environment so it is just preferred um, to plant rice in a swampy environment and in spite of this being a swampy environment rice is able to perform aerobic respiration now this is important because for most plants if you were to submerge them in water they would die because they would not have enough oxygen or um, enough co2 rather to even undergo respiration or photosynthesis some plants um, would not be able to do um, sufficient gas exchange and they just Simply would not be able to survive this is because gas exchange in water is very slow and so by the time the plants get the gases that they need they are already dead rice doesn't behave in the same way and that is why it is really peculiar and i guess that's why it's also part of your syllabus that you need to know how rice is well adapted for this environment so some of the aerobic adaptations. So I split the adaptations of rice into aerobic and anaerobic. Um, rice plants, whenever you, they grow in flooded environments, are able to grow taller above the water. And what this allows is that it keeps their leaves um, and the upper parts of the plant open, um, not submerged, so that they can have gas exchange through their stomata. I hope you remember stomata because we discussed that in chapter seven. If you haven't um, looked at chapter seven, I will um, post uh, what's it called a link to that to, um, for you now so that you can have a look I think it should be something in 7.1 or 7.2 um, so rice plants grow taller so they're able to um, continue gas exchange in the stems of rice plants and you'll see here I've taken an image from the textbook that I use um, and just put that here in the stems of rice plants we have these things called the erenchyma and erenchyma are basically loosely packed cells that allow the diffusion of gases um, from the stems of the plant to other parts of the plant and this includes even the submerged parts of the plant. So think about it this way, the plant has grown taller, its leaves are exposed to the air, it's able to get the gases that it needs and then it has these erenchyma cells that are arranged within its stems and allow the gases to move within the plants down to the parts that are submerged, which means those parts don't necessarily have to be open to the air in order to get air. So that's one of the adaptations of um, rice form um, for growing in wet environments. The leaves of the plants also, especially the leaves that are submerged underwater, um, have ridges that trap a thin layer of air. This means that when you those leaves have like a thin layer because they are hydrophobic, so they don't allow water comes so close and that keeps a thin layer of air between them and the water and that ensures that air is then supplied to those cells continuously so that they are able to grow um, and able to undergo the processes that are necessary for the growth of the rice plant. In terms of anaerobic respiration, um, so rice plants, because they have their roots submerged underwater, 
Typically, those roots don't get enough oxygen for them to be able to carry out aerobic respiration. So they would undergo anaerobic respiration. And in this case, they produce ethanol. Um, you could also just say alcohol in the exam and that would be fine. Uh, but they produce ethanol. Now, typically, if you pour ethanol on plants or you submerge plants in ethanol, they're not going to grow because the ethanol is toxic to their cells. But rice has the ability to tolerate really high levels of ethanol in its roots um, and it also produces a lot of ethanol the alcohol dehydrogenase rather um, which helps to break down ethanol so alcohol dehydrogenase helps it to break down the ethanol and that means that rice can actively grow in the absence of oxygen by just going through anaerobic respiration so yeah this is it on adaptations for rice i found it necessary to record this video because while i was doing some papers with my um, students in class just past papers we found a seven mark question on this asking how rice is adapted um, to um, what's it called to wet environments so i hope that you find it helpful just and that's the reason i've also outlined specifically what the adaptations are so that they're easy for you to just follow and if you want to take them down as notes you are able to do so thank you so much for watching all the videos on this channel for just relating with the content for liking the videos and for requesting more videos i will now move on to chapter 13 which i hope to upload soon but until then please subscribe to the channel share with your friends um just use it to prepare for your exams and i wish you good luck as you start to prepare have a good time goodbye